This is the unboxing and initial setup um, video for the Jogit Mach 3 CNC pendant. So when you get your pendant, it's going to come in a little box like this. And when you open it up, you'll find the pendant and a quick start sheet. Let me open this up real quick. Um, the main thing that you'll see on it is a uh, graphic of the Jogit pendant with all the, the buttons that correspond with the Mach 3 buttons. And then a warning down here you should read um, asking you not to kill yourself with this product. So let's look at the pendant itself. It ships in a uh, real bubble wrap sleeve. Let's open it up. Get it out. Before you can use it, you'll have to install a new .sct file um, in your Mach 3 folder. So I'm going to show you how to do that. This is a new website. Um, the address is uh, dtrobotics.blogspot.com and looking at it there is a product section. If you click on that, you'll see some of the products that I'm working on right now. The Jogit Pendant, click on it, and here's a page talking a little bit about it and these are the how-to videos so after you watch this video and get your .sct file changed over um, come watch this video the Mach 3 how to use video and it'll show you how to get started um, scrolling down to the bottom you can see there is a download section and I'm gonna click download the jogit.sct file for Mach 3 and it's gonna take me to the file click download And go past the pop up blocker. There we go. Um, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Close that out. I'm going to close out the internet browser. And then you can see on my desktop now there's the jogit.sct file. So you'll need to move this file to your Mach 3 folder. In my computer, your C drive, and there should be a Mach 3 folder where you've installed Mach 3 with all the stuff in it. So all you have to do is grab the .sct file, drag it over, and put it in the Mach 3 folder. And that's it. So I'm going to open up Mach 3. And right now, I'm going to cut the uh, zip tie on the USB cable and plug it in the computer. Just wait a few moments for it to initialize just like any mouse or keyboard would when you plug it in. And then looking at the screen, you know when you open up Mach 3, the reset button is tripped. So that one will work right now. Go ahead and hit it. Um, a lot of the buttons work without changing the .sct file. So right now you can see I'm jogging around um, but if I try to zero the x-axis, nothing happens. Zero the y, nothing happens. Zero z, nothing happens. Those three buttons don't work as well as the step increment button. Doesn't work until we've changed that file. So, I'll show you how to do that. Come up here. And there's view. Load screens is what we want. Come in here, these are all the load screens, and we just moved this one in here a few moments ago. Double click it. Lock 3 is going to kind of reinitialize. And at this point, the buttons that didn't work moments ago now will. So if I hit the 0x button, 0 it out, 0y, 0 it out. And show you the 0z button also works. Um, if you hit your tab button on your keyboard, it'll bring up jog, the jog mode graphic and make some room for it really quick. And show you that that step increment button that didn't used to work now changes the cycle jog step. So there you have it. Um, check out the uh, video I have for how to use the Mach 3 pendant. Um, it'll show you how machining a small part with it. So that's all for the unboxing and initial setup, and your pendant should work great now. Thanks for watching.